previous segment, we saw the reverse drawing process. That is a special drawing process. In this segment, we will see the ironing process. That is also a special uh, deep drawing process. And this is also a special form of a redrawing process. But what we discussed in the case of redrawing was that height was increasing at the cost of diameter. In ironing, the height increases at the cost of the thickness of the shell. So in the case of redrawing, we assumed uh, the thickness to remain unchanged or there was negligible thickness uh, reduction. But here in ironing, this is the thickness that reduces and height increases. So ironing makes wall thickness of cylindrical cup more uniform. You could see that we are having a shell that was drawn using a deep drawing process. And now we are having another die in which this shell is being redrawn. But in this case, the clearance between uh, punch and die is smaller than the thickness of the shell so that we can reduce the thickness and increase the height. So the figure is showing ironing to achieve more uniform wall thickness in a drawn cup. And we can see in the start of the process, and this is the process in continuation and note the thinning and elongation of the walls. So how much uh, height can we increase using an ironing process? And so that is an important point that should, that should be kept in mind. So if H is the starting height of the shell and T is the thickness of that original shell and H subscript I is the height after ironing and T subscript I is the thickness after ironing. And then this equation should hold true. And here we are assuming that the diameter remains unchanged. So just like in a reverse drawing, we assume that uh, the thickness remains unchanged. Here we are assuming the diameter remains unchanged. So height into thickness before ironing should be equal to height into thickness after ironing. And that turns out to be H is equal to H I T I divided by T. So uh, that is the height that we should have actually uh, before ironing in order to achieve uh, this height after ironing. And the percent of reduction of the shell may be calculated from this equation. So original thickness minus new thickness after ironing divided by original thickness. So this equation can be utilized to calculate how much height H should we have before ironing so that we can achieve a certain height after ironing if we have a certain percentage reduction in thickness. So that is the basic idea. So let's have an example. So a shell is to have its wall thickness reduction from 0 0.064 inch by 12.5%. The new shell will have a new height of 3.430 inches. What is the mean height of the starting shell? So we need to have this new height after ironing and we are having a reduction in thickness of 12.5%. So what should be the starting height of the shell so that once there is 12.5% reduction in thickness, we can achieve a new height of 3.430 inches. So the new wall thickness will be equal to uh, original thickness, that is 0 0.064. So that was original thickness, or we call it T. So that was 0 0.064 minus 12.5% reduction in that. So the new thickness after ironing will be, uh, uh, after reduction of 12.5% equal to 0 0.065 inches. So the height of the shell before ironing should be using the same equation that we saw on the previous slide that the product of height and thickness before ironing 
should be equal to product of height and thickness after ironing so that will turn out to be this thing so after ironing we want to have this height 3.43 and this is the new thickness divided by original thickness so edge turns out to be 3 inches so before ironing using drawing operation we should achieve a height of 3 inches so that after ironing with the help of 12.5% reduction we can achieve a new height of 3.430 inches. And now this figure is showing the process to make uh, a can. So we have a starting blank that is having a circular cross section. Then we are performing a deep drawing process to make this uh, starting shell. And then we are having a redrawing process to redraw this shell again to make a new shell that has a smaller die and greater height as compared to original shell. And then you could notice, notice the ironing operation where we are increasing the height of the walls. And you could see that this thickness after ironing is much smaller than uh, this thickness before ironing. And then there is a doming process to make this dome. And then there is a necking process to make this neck and then seaming operation to attach lid to the can. So ironing is an important process to make the can as well. Now we will see, uh, uh, we will see an animation where you could notice uh, the drawing operation, uh, redrawing operation as well as ironing operation and few other operations that uh, can be performed to make an axisymmetric hollow shape. So here you could notice a long uh, sheet metal stock and this is the die and punch and a blanking operation is being performed. So we have made a circular blank and in the second die that blank has been drawn. So that is a deep drawing process. So we have made a hollow shell. And then you could notice the ironing operation and you could see the reduction in thickness uh, of the walls. So a series of redrawing and ironing operations are being performed. And the height is increasing, the diameter is reducing. The bottom dome or you could see here again the bottom or dome die is reducing and height is increasing. So you could see the partial uh, uh, redrawing operation is being performed. A certain portion of the uh, shell is being redrawn. And now the bottom will be framed because bottom needs to be hollow in this case. Trimming operation has been performed to remove the flange. And here the bulging operation has been performed to make this part of the shell. And this is the final part that has been made. So you could see that we have made this shape from a flat circular blank. So a lot of deformation was required. So that's why we needed a number of dies to make this shape. So the operation included deep drawing, redrawing, ironing, uh, trimming, bulging, and a number of dies were involved.